everybody, Jason here at GhostbustersNews.com, and as always, Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube. And way back in 2016, Ghostbusters answered the call, the Ghostbusters reboot, it hit movie theaters, and Ghostbuster fans, they were beyond excited. Every single one of them. Okay, maybe that's a stretch, but I think what all Ghostbuster fans can agree on, that they were all excited about the return of High C Ecto Cooler. For many of us, it was the drink of our youth. Now the relaunch of High C Ecto Cooler, it didn't last long. In fact, production for this already stopped by the end of the same year, 2016. Now in this year, I'm hoping that once again, High C Ecto Cooler can return to store shelves because in case you don't know, November 11th, 2021, there is a brand new Ghostbusters movie hitting movie theaters, Ghostbusters Afterlife. And so far this year, we've already gotten Ghostbusters cereal, there's Ghostbusters Twinkies also on the way. Come on, Coca-Cola. Once again, pull that trigger and bring back High C Ecto Cooler. Now, being that we really don't know what the future holds for High C Ecto Cooler, and also at the same time, my, uh, my stash from 2016 is actually long since it's expired. Like, this one expired in March of 2017. I thought I would go into Google and search up a homemade Ecto Cooler recipe to kind of, you know, satisfy my, my Ecto Cooler craving that, that I'm kind of having right now. And let it be known, there's been some really great on-point recreations of Ecto Cooler that I've tried over the years. Uh, namely, Ghostbusters Chicago Division. I know they have a video up here on YouTube where they actually recreated. They did a homemade blend of Ecto Cooler. Uh, if you haven't checked that out, certainly do so. We're going to include a link to that down below in the description. But in that video, it included some Kool-Aid flavor packets that are a little harder to track down, so I thought maybe I'd try and find a more simplified version. And wouldn't you know it, there was a video uploaded a couple of days ago via the Alberta Ghostbusters that kind of had a more simplified recipe. We're going to include a link to that down below in the description as well. Now, I don't think it's actually their recipe because I did find it on several other websites and such, but the thing I love so much about this recipe is that pretty much all the items you can easily find at your local grocer. In fact, I can't wait. Let's go ahead, let's turn the camera around here, and let's start making this batch of homemade Ecto Cooler. So for those of you that have never actually had the chance to drink High C Ecto Cooler, first of all, I, I feel sorry for you. Second, it is an orange tangerine blend. So keeping that in mind, we're gonna kick it off with some orange juice here. Uh, this is from Tropicana. I don't really think the make is gonna matter too much at all there, uh, but really the key thing here is to make sure that you grab no pulp because uh, we don't want pulp in our Ecto Cooler. And when it comes to the orange juice, we're gonna actually have to pour in, uh, what is it here? It's one and a half cups. So let's go ahead and uh, yeah, let's start pouring here. Okay, so we've got the orange juice now in there. Uh, so our next ingredient is gonna be tangerine juice, but in this case, I was actually unable to find just plain Jane tangerine juice. So I'm substituting it with orange and tangerine. And I gotta say, I did this mix. I already made a batch of Ecto Cooler. The mix here of orange juice and then orange and tangerine got me much closer to high C Ecto Cooler than a mix I tried with just orange and tangerine juice. Like I, I tried to mix just with this and it did not come out nearly as good as mixing this and this together. How that works, I don't know. It, it has to do with the ratios, I guess, of orange to tangerine. But anyways, our next step here is gonna be one and a half cups of tangerine juice, or in my case, orange tangerine juice. So let's go ahead and uh, get that in there. All right, so we've got the orange tangerine juice now in there. So for our next ingredients, we're gonna move over to the, uh, well, the dry ingredients here. Uh, first, we're gonna kick it off with some tang. Now, I am not a fan of tang. Uh, I've tried drinking it in the past, like uh, on its own. Well, I mean, not on its own, but you know, mixed with other stuff. And I've never really been a fan, but I gotta say, it goes really well here with this uh, homemade Ecto Cooler blend. And for the recipe here, they're asking for two tablespoons. So let's go ahead and uh, get that in there. There we go. Uh, we're not gonna stir it just yet. We're gonna go ahead and add uh, our next ingredient, which you can see back here. It is some lemonade mix. Now you can certainly get, oh, this weighs a lot. You can certainly get smaller packages of uh, lemonade mix. This right here though was the only one I could find and it is, it's got some girth to it there. What do we got here? This is uh, 24 liters it can make. I mean, obviously it's not 24 liters worth of powder, but yeah, it can make upwards to 24 liters of, uh, of lemonade. So that that's a lot of lemonade. But I guess the plus side here is we're not making lemonade, we're making Ecto Cooler. So this, this can make a lot of Ecto Cooler. 
Now for the powdered lemonade mix, all we gotta add in is just one tablespoon here. Let's uh, tuck it in there, there we go. So we're gonna continue with the dry ingredients here, uh, with the next ingredient being the oh so wonderful and delectable sugar. More importantly, some granulated sugar. Now a heads up here, Ecto Cooler it was a, uh, you know, it was a bit of a sugary drink, so the recipe here is asking for one and a half cups of sugar. So, uh, yeah, this one is uh, not really for the, the faint of heart. So the sugar is now in there. Uh, we're going to do a big mix here in a second, but first I want to add water to this. Now, water is pretty much to be added as needed. It is a good thing that, you know, when you're, when you're actually stirring this around, to kind of give it a taste every now and then after you add the water to not kind of, you know, over water, but at the same time with the orange juice, with the lemonade, with the tang, with the sugar, this is going to be pretty strong right now. So once again, add water, but I would recommend keep tasting it, you know, as needed. If you add a cup in, add a half a cup, add another cup, every time before you add something else in, give it a taste, give it a stir, and make sure, once again, you're not over diluting it and at the same time, it's not overly too strong and too sweet. And when it comes to water, I mean, it's all preference. You can definitely use, you know, tap water. Uh, myself, uh, I just wanted to use, or actually buy like a big jug here. For one thing, you know, it's, um, it's a bit of a, a cleaner water, I guess you can say, than what you get from the tap, I mean, I guess. Uh, I mean, I do use like a, uh, a Brita filter and everything when it comes to my tap water at my home. But at the same time too, I wanted to buy this because I thought this would be a perfect container to store the finished Ecto Cooler inside of. So let's go ahead and yeah, let's go ahead and just start pouring in here. There we go. Go a little higher with it. Well, that looks about good. And now we are on to the most important part of this custom uh, recipe here, this custom blend. And that is, uh, well, of course, blending everything together. We want to make sure that the lemonade mix, the tang, the sugar, all of that dissolves nicely in our Ecto Cooler. And at the same time, uh, make sure that the, the actual taste of the Ecto Cooler is just right, uh, you know, in case we do need to add some extra water here, which we may have to there. And at the same time, we want to make sure that uh, the color is just right. So we're going to do the coloring as the last step here. We're going to turn this, uh, you know, orangey, yellowish kind of brew into, well, the green high C Ecto Cooler that we all know and love. But give me a second, let me uh, continue stirring here. Okay, so I've got it mixed up for the most part here. You can see there's a little bit of sugar like on the top and kind of around the sides. However, once I uh, add the color here, I'm gonna then put this whole mix into the jug. I'm gonna give it a good shake and that should dissolve all the last bits of sugar. So yeah, next let's go ahead and add in some of the uh, ever important coloring here, the food dye. And as mentioned earlier in the video, you want to add blue food coloring to this. Uh, you don't want to go with green here. Blue will get you the uh, the actual Ecto Cooler color that you're looking for. So I just added three little uh, dollops in there. And there's really no science to this. Really, you just mix it around until you think you have hit that perfect, perfect Ecto Cooler, uh, you know, color. You know, I think actually I may add one more little dollop in there. Uh, yeah, let's just play it safe. Let's just go one more. I don't want to go overly too blue here, but so far I'm, oh yeah, I'm really liking the way this, uh, this is coming out here. This looks really good so far. All right, so I'm gonna keep stirring here just to get rid of some of the, uh, the sugar residue on the top of here. But uh, in a minute or two, we're gonna have a custom batch of homemade Ecto Cooler. I cannot wait to, uh, to give it a taste here on Ghostbusters News today. All right, so that was the recipe. Once again, pretty easy, right? Uh, let's go ahead and see the finished result. Let's go ahead and pour ourselves a glass of this homemade Ecto Cooler. Oh, and just look at that green pop. It is pretty close, in my opinion, to what actually Ecto Cooler look like. Now, if you wanna make sure your Ecto Cooler stays cool, may I recommend some ice cubes? And I went the extra mile here today because I used a Ghostbusters logo ice cube tray. I know it's a little hard to see, hopefully the camera's picking up on it. So the Ecto Cooler's chilled, we got our ice in there. There's only one thing left to do, and that is to go ahead and, and give it a little sippy sip, a little taste. So let's knock it back and, and give it a try here. I can taste the tangerine, I can taste the orange juice, and despite those being, you know, kind of more of like the breakfast variety of juices, I'm not getting a, a breakfast kind of, you know, juice taste or anything. 
To me, this tastes very, very closely to Ecto Cooler. I'm, I'm in love with this. So once again, I do want to thank the Alberta Ghostbusters for getting me hip to the beat of this more simplified, homemade, high-C Ecto Cooler recipe. It is certainly going to make the wait between now and the November release of Ghostbusters Afterlife a little, a little bit easier. But uh, in the meantime, Coca-Cola, if you guys want to go ahead and pull that trigger and release like actual Ecto Cooler to stores between now and November, I'm, I'm certainly up for that. I mean, my, my taste buds, they're ready. So guys, that does it for today's video. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube. Bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, check out our Patreon page. A link to that can be found right down below in the description. And I'll see everybody right back here next time. Skeletons can break your bones, but I'm the writer now. Ghost, no bozos in the back of my ambulance. Pulling out the firehouse, I will handle it. Back off, man, I'm a scientist. And all this hardware I brought will fry them quick. Because astral projections are quite ethereal. And not what you want when you eat your cereal. Accelerate proton shorten streams. Don't want to get my face burns off, go team. Cause you're not alone. Got a problem that needs solving. Just back up the Ghost. Ghost. No one dies tonight